Now we're moving across now to our, our first and I think only dual presentation of the day. It's Peter Jacobs from Dents of Aegis and Alex Ginn from Adverty and their talk is how to level up your marketing strategy with gaming. First gaming talk of the day, so we had lots yesterday, so welcomed. So now over to you, you have 99 seconds and don't forget I will pawn you off. Brilliant. Thanks very much, Justin. Uh, it's great to be back again. I uh, had a really good talk on Tuesday and uh, thank you to everyone that's reached out since talking about gaming. Uh, today's obviously all about uh, brand experience, creativity and engagement. Um, and that's something that gaming really does tick all of the boxes for. Um, I've got Pete uh, with me here, who's from Dentsu and uh, Aegis Network, and he runs the gaming department uh, over there. Uh, Pete and myself work quite closely together regularly to help brands uh, get into the gaming space who are really looking to find new innovative ways to reach their audiences. Um, so as you can see on the slide there, there's a couple of different instances of what you can do in gaming that's completely different to what you would traditionally be able to do. Um, I'd like to ask Pete a couple of questions really. Um, one of the things is, you know, Pete, you've been, in, you've been in, in this game in the media agency world for a long time now. Um, when you're being tasked to find new innovative ways to reach audiences that, you know, haven't been done before, um, what are your experiences with, with pushing gaming to, to brands? Uh, most of them are very, very keen, but don't know how. So um, there are different avenues for all types of advertisers to get into gaming or esports. But the key thing is to do it well and to add to the experience somehow. So um, as long as the strategy enhances the experience, adds to the gameplay, that's the key thing. Brilliant. Awesome. I mean, just adding to that, some of the really good ex uh, examples of what, what Pete's talking about, there would be things like Pokemon Go, for example, that game that was big a couple of summers ago, but it's still absolutely massive now. Uh, brands like Uniqlo, who have actually released real life products of Pokemon clothing, now have those in the game free of charge for players to use on their own avatars. Um, I think, you know, things like that really do help brands to, you know, connect with your audience very closely. Um, what else would you like to say about it, Pete? <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry. No, I, I, I know there's two of you, but you still get 99 seconds. So yeah. great talk. And I get, we had lots and lots of discussion yesterday about gaming. So it's such a hot topic for the audience. Lots to talk about. So the question here from uh, Gene, is it Gene? Is, yeah, it's, do you, would you like to see more recognition of gaming in the big award shows such as Can Lion, etc.? I mean, well, absolutely. I mean, you know, at Cannes two years ago, uh, Fortnite won the, uh, sorry, it was Wendy's that won the Grand Prix using their um, execution with Fortnite. So it's good to see it, it's finally becoming, um, you know, seen as this um, fantastic platform to do big experiential uh, things. Um, I would love to see it in there more often every single year, like in a new gaming thing. And I, I think, for example, the Travis Scott uh, concert experience was a fantastic uh, execution this year. Um, I, I don't think it will be long until it's, it's, it, there's something in there every single year. What do you think, Pete? Yeah, gaming's, I believe, going to become a, a core pillar of the media mix. Um, and as such, it will get more and more recognition. And one of the key points in gaming is that whatever you can dream up, you can code. So whether you're your favourite Formula One driver going around Monte Carlo or your um, Yoda in Star Wars, Whatever you can picture, you can code. So therefore, it's second to none for innovation. Superb. There's a question here from, uh, I'm not sure this is their real name, Bob the Drag Queen, who asks, you say ads must add to the gaming experience. What must they avoid doing? Um, it depends on the device. But if a gamer has um, spent, let's say, £50 on a game, the last thing they want is to be interrupted. Um, so I think the key element is to be able to provide something extra, whether that makes something more realistic, like Adverti provide with in-game advertising, so making a cityscape more realistic or a sports stadium, it adds to the gameplay. Or if you're doing some a bigger sponsorship, whether that is downloadable content, putting skins in the game, um, you know, extra equipment, et cetera, et cetera. Um, that's the key thing. What you don't want to do is shoehorn anything in because it'll have a very negative effect and the gaming audience can be quite vocal. Yeah, I'd, I'd, if I've got a chance, I'd like to add, it's got to be good for the gamer. It has to make sense to the gamer. And if you can reward the gamer for interacting with your brand, you've, you've nailed it, you've smashed it straight away. Perfect. So many questions still not being answered, but we're out of time. So thank you so much again. Absolutely great to see you. Thanks for your, Thanks, your talk.